back to your journey tribe my name is alvin welcome back guys if you know i'm in the rv rental business also the rv life guys we run an instagram channel youtube channel TikTok, facebook whatever max your journey and anything you do in life today we're talking about the rv rental business and why everything isn't as beautiful as it seems guys we already have damage on our brand new unit i'm not talking 10 renters 100 renters i'm talking about the first one has already damaged our brand new unit. Let me show you guys around if you're new. This is our tw uh, 2022 299 QB Sunset Trail. As you see, they come standard with the king bed, the dinette, uh, recliners in this model, but we love the bunk house style, guys. If you're getting into rental rentals, check out what's hot in your area. Bunk, bunk houses are for us. If you're in maybe a national park where you can go ATVs, maybe it's a toy hauler. No, who knows? Shower. In a bathroom, guys. Plenty going on in this unit. So, like I said, we already had damage to our RV. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the damage. I'm gonna tell you how to handle it if you're looking into getting into it so you don't get too scared out. But maybe you're already scared because I already got damage to my new RV, right guys? So, let me show you. Or let me fill you in a little bit. So we ran on RV Share. You can choose whatever platform it may be. RV Share, Outdoorsy. RV Easy, I'm not sponsored by any of them. But we already have damage to our camper. What happened? I had one of the first renters reach out to me and say, hey, we would like to rent your camper coming up. Uh, we also would like to tow it. I informed him in the messages that I do not allow when he tows. I do not allow towing with my units. I do delivery only. But since this unit is brand new on these platforms, they require a lot of reviews to get pushed into their algorithm guys so sometimes you have to bend those rules my fault right right or wrong let me know in the comments i bent my rule and allowed him to do the tow um but i asked my questions like i used to in the past when i allowed towing what is your tow vehicle very important have you towed before what's your towing experience just because you have a big truck you might never towed anything before you might like the way it looks you know what i'm saying uh do you have a brake controller? Do you have the seven pin? I will allow my hitch to go out. That way I know it fits the camper and everything is in working condition. That's a little tip, guys. So the renter answered all the questions. He had a nice truck, brand new. Um, he has towed. He had a little bit of construction background. Sounded good, right, guys? So he shows up on the pickup day, backs, in, backs his truck up, and I give him my walk around. I give him the walk around and he says, I have a little bit of a construction background. I say, perfect. Well, here's the hitch. I'm going to let you hook it up so you know what to do and I can see you in action. He grabs the hitch. He struggles a little bit with this hitch. So therefore, I either figured he was in the office in the construction area or he just doesn't really know what to, what to do because a hitch, a trailer, whatever it may be, one of those trailers you, you tell your lawnmower on, they all have that same hookup where you pull the little tab on the top. Once it gets set on there, you drop it down and put your pin in, guys. He struggled a little bit with that, but that's okay. We got past that part. I explained to him all my little tips and tricks. He pulled out. I text him about an hour or two later because he had a, a, a good trip ahead of him. I said, hey, please remember wide turns and to go slow. And this is where it got interesting. He said, I'm trying my best. And I was like, whoa, as a renter, as a owner of the RV, that's not kind of what you want to hear. I don't know if it was just a miscommunication. I'm trying my best. Isn't great to hear. You want to hear, I got it under control, taking it slow. Perfect. Okay. So the trip goes fine. I reach out, nothing said, nothing done. Good to go. When he goes to return it, I am not at the residence and this would have been no big factor at all. You do not have to be present for your drop-offs or pickups or the renter doesn't have to. He drops it off. He sends me a message, which I'm going to show you right here, guys. He says, everything is fine or towed great. Um, oh, by the way, I had a tight turn and I hit the curb. So right there, I was like, panic mode. How bad is it? Text the wife, send me some pictures as soon as possible. Let me see my baby. Let me see what's wrong. It's brand new. And the last words I said to him face to face was, it's brand new. Anything that happens is on you. 
Got you, sir. So, this is what happened. The tire that he actually hit is right here. We look around, obvious damage, right? All the way around the tire, as you see here, scraped it up, even a gash right here, guys. A little gash right there, you see it? With campers, this is a nightmare, guys. It looks like it's not a big deal, but when these explode, when these pop, they damage that underside in there, guys. That can rip your floor, that can total an RV. It's bigger than what you think. There's also, he's missing the cap on there, brand new unit. Big deal or not a big deal, right? It's up to you. You let me know down in the comments, guys. If you would, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not done yet. This is what you do if you were to be in this incident, if you were being in a case where you get damaged. So I have the damage through the website that you choose. I use RV Share, guys. When you go to return a unit, you have a form as a owner to fill out and as a renter, renter to fill out. So it asks you, is there anything damage missing? Do you need to file a claim? I said, yes, I need to file a claim for damages. The tire is messed up. Here is a new one. This is how much it costs. And here's photos of the actual damage. They want to see all of that stuff. Then they submit it to a third party. The third party reviews it. And if you have a legitimate claim, they will pay you out of the renter's deposit. So you have to make sure you have your unit. Another tip. Your unit has to have a solid deposit. When I first started off, I didn't know any better. I had a $300 deposit. I had a $400 deposit, $500. My deposits, guys, are set at $1,100. So that, it tells you that the deposit is on hold from the renter and that you will be paid out accordingly the next day because your claim went through. They look at it very, very quickly, unless it's something even more major, then they're gonna have somebody else really come out or an adjuster look at it and really break down the facts. But for that, message me today. They already said tonight, you'll be paid out tomorrow. Enter your uh, account information, you're good to go. So I basically got paid out for a new rim with that one because it is a brand new item. Anything else you can think of. If this cushion was to get destroyed, how much does it cost for cushions? That's what you are entitled to. Now, what you do with those funds is up to you. If I take those funds and go get a new rim, that is on me. If I wait until it pops, that is on me. But I get paid out accordingly, guys. The only way I explain this is, have you ever seen that black truck, black car, and they have a red door on there? They got paid out from their insurance or they went to the junkyard, got covered. They can pocket the money. They can do with the cosmetic stuff, whatever they choose, guys. So, yes, you're going to get damaged when renting out RVs. Or even rental houses, I do that as well. Are you gonna handle it in the best way possible, guys? You can't have an emotional attachment to this. This is my baby. This is my brand new unit. I love it so much. I love it. Love it. But the damage side, I can't get attached to it, guys. I gotta be able to be neutral when it comes to anything getting damaged. Also, one last tip. You have to have lots of photos, lots of videos. They give you that on the exit form when you're sending your unit out. It tells you to take photos of anything that's damaged or the condition. I use it to take photos of the condition of my RV. I'll look around, I'll see if there's, I'll show them pictures, I have videos, no rips, no cuts, no stains, no nothing. That way when they come back and say, hey, do you have a picture of the cushion? Because he's saying it was like that before he took over. He just forgot to put it in there. Oh, yes, I do. I shot a video of it. And I have pictures of it. And I also state their name and time dated. So they can't get over on me, baby. Max your journey tribe. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you keep rocking with us. We have more RV rental business tips coming out. We always got adventures. And we always, always are trying to max our journey over here, guys. Hopefully you join us. Stick around. And I'll see you next time. Max your journey.